Madeline here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm coming on to share with you what I got for Christmas. Ah, and wait for it till the end. For those of you who don't know, I've got a major surprise happening and I've actually known about it since Thanksgiving, but I couldn't say anything until now. But I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, oh my gosh, here we go. <laughs> but anyway, I am so stinking tired, you guys, I have to admit it, I have to admit it. The holidays wore me out. I will say, uh, it is a good tired, it is a good tired though. You know, there's nothing better than getting together with family and laughing and crying and singing and hugging and doing all the warm, fuzzy things that we do around the holidays. I felt all the feels, you guys. I had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time. Chris and I really enjoyed hosting this year, our Christmas Eve celebration. Let me start there. And I'm, you know, I'm not going to go into major detail. I've been keeping you guys abreast of, you know, pretty much everything via my, <clears throat> part of me, Instagram and uh, even on my community post here on YouTube. Uh, but just to say my dad came on Monday the 23rd he got here and here we are he brought shrimp and scallops with him oh my word you guys and Chris is a fab for those of you who don't know Chris is a fabulous cook and he cooked up those well he always cooks his shrimp just perfect just perfect but he cooked up those big old fat bay scallops like uh, I am not a real scallop lover. I like I like all kinds of seafood, you guys. But when Chris cooked those scallops, the picture is before they were cooked. The shrimp was cooked, but the scallops weren't. But when he cooked those scallops, y'all, oh my word, they were delicious. So my dad and Chris and Kristen and myself all had a lovely dinner that evening of shrimp and scallops and... Uh, Really didn't have a lot of dessert. We didn't, I tried to really, you know, my dad's been watching his weight and, you know, Chris is always, and I are always watching ours. And it's just, you know, I just didn't have a lot of desserts around the house. So, I mean, I did have my cheesecake and stuff for Christmas, but really and truly we didn't eat any dessert. So I think we might've had a couple of Reese cups, you know, for dessert, but we had a lovely time that evening. We sat around and we talked, we watched TV, we listened to Christmas carols reminisced. I mean, it was a wonderful evening. I put it around the kitchen, getting my table set up, as you guys saw, uh, even more. I got more uh, put out in my coffee center and or drink center and all that kind of stuff. Just, we just had a big time. So then Christmas Eve, <laughs> it came and oh my goodness, for those of you who didn't see my video, I'll put a link in the description below or maybe a card up here. And uh, Stacy and I came on and wished you guys a Merry Christmas. My dad came on camera. Stacy's kids came on, her boys. Kristen even waved from the back. <laughs> and her mama came on camera, Barb, her mama came on camera. We had a blast and they all came and said hello and such fun on Christmas Eve, such fun. So that's where I'll start with what I wanna share uh, with what I got for Christmas. And <clears throat> what I have on is what Stacy got me. One of the things Stacy got me, let me stand up and show you this beautiful poncho. She said when she went into the store, she said, that screamed Arlen to me, isn't it pretty? It's a beautiful blue, navy blue and white poncho. Gonna match my decor coming up, huh? And this necklace, I, I just love it, you guys. It's a turtleneck. I love me a big, fat, snuggly turtleneck. So I got me a turtleneck, uh, this beautiful poncho. And then she got me this necklace, which I've got knotted right now. I tried to double it, but it wouldn't, it didn't look right, one laying right. So I just knotted it. My mama used to do that all the time and knot her necklaces. <laughs> so I thought, oh, okay, I can do that. Bring back the 70s and 80s, whatever. So I knotted my necklace and then she got me these beautiful earrings as well to match. And she got me something else that I will show you or I have to read to you. 
as, and then I'll show you. <clears throat> she just recently got herself a new Cricut. And apparently this thing does all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? <clears throat> so I open, and, and I'll tell you, it is everybody's goal. <laughs> And Stacy's going, it's not that sentimental, Orlin. It's not that sentimental. You're not going to cry. You're not going to cry. But it's their goal to give me a gift that's going to make me cry. <laughs> so anyway, I pulled, I opened my box and I pulled, first thing I saw was this little written note. And I was like, what in the world is this? And she said, just read it. She said, I promise it's not that sentimental. You'll get through it. And I'm like, I can't get through anything, you guys. So... This is what it said. Let me try to get through it with you guys here. Let me put the camera down a little bit. This doesn't want to, this light is just not cooperating. All right, here we go. This is not just a bracelet, as you will see. It's a special token to you from me. I got a new cricket and thought, what the heck? And recorded myself saying, I love you, a bushel and a peck. I turned the audio file into an image and engraved away to give you Christmas Eve day. So whenever you wear it, remember the song to warm your heart all year long. Love you, Stacy. And then I opened the box and this is what she gave me. It is her voice. You know, I see this all the time on my on my videos, you know, this is the audio. How I love you a bushel and a peck looks in an audio file. Is that not cool? And she engraved it on this bracelet. Oh my word. Yes, I was a blithering, blubbering fool. I was. And everybody's laughing at me. Oh, we got her. Well, Brady, I had, had dad had opened something and it said, Brady had said something really sweet to my dad, Stacy's oldest. And I just started, I'm thinking, Brady, you're so sweet. And I had already, I had already cried. And Brady's like, I got her. I got her already. I got her. We had just started opening. <coughs> and then I was, excuse me, I was next in line. I'm sorry, I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat. Pardon me if I need to take a drink and pause. So I was next in line and this is what I opened. How sweet was she? Oh my goodness. And she gave me this pretty little passport folder. Look at that. I've got a bunch of gift cards. I'll tell you about those in a minute. But she gave me this passport and look how pretty pink. Ooh, you know I love me some pink. So she knows me well, Stacy does. Stacy and, and her hubby. Stacy and her hubby. Of course it wasn't just Stacy, it was her hubby too who gave me these. So that's what I just got from them. My goodness, you know, I started out like a, with a bang with, you know, with them. So then I got something from Stacy's mom. Barb sends her, she said her name on the video. I can say her name. Her name is Barb. And they gave me, her and her hubby, Stacy's dad, gave me a wonderful Hobby Lobby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Gift card. Yay. So I will be using this and I will be showing you in the future what I purchase. I'm gonna wait until they get all of their Christmas put away and they bring out their spring. I saw a bunch of blue and white stuff in there before Christmas already, 40% uh, off in their, in their spring shop. So I'm gonna wait, you know, a few weeks until they get all their spring put out. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy something that is gonna equal the amount of money that they gave me or close to it and have that one thing to be able to say, this Stacy's mom and dad gave me this to them, or you guys gave me this. This is what your gift card at Christmas last year, whenever they come down again, we'll see. Actually, they might be down sooner than you th than we might think. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that's what I got from Stacy and her hubby for sure. Oh my gosh, and my aunt and uncle. Wonderful day. Uh, they we ate like crazy. You know, here's some pictures of the food. Uh, we had crab souffle and shrimp and little smokies and coleslaw and crab dip uh, and what else do we have, Chris? My goodness gracious. Uh, shrimp. Did I say that? Uh, that's right. She made those Cuban sandwiches that were, which were really good. She didn't like them <laughs> in the end, but I do have a recipe. She gave me a recipe that I may be able to share with you guys uh, for these Cuban sandwiches. I thought they were very tasty. Everybody else liked them except for... Uh, but anyway, Cuban sandwiches, and then for dessert, I had, like I said, I had both of my peanut butter fudges and a cheesecake, and my aunt brought no-bake cookies, and um, 
What am I missing, Chris? I feel like, and we have punch. We drank both punches. Oh my goodness, I had like this much punch left and I had put three or four two liter bottles of ginger ale in there. They love that. And uh, some, you know, uh, all the, the drink station went, went really well. That worked out. I mean, and the table, all of us were able to sit around the table. Candace and Dustin walked in just in time. They, bless their hearts, had to work that morning, but they got here in time and were able to open gifts and see everybody and hug everybody. I was so happy that they were able to get here in time. Dad gone them having to work, you know, on Christmas Eve, yuck. But, you know, I get it. Certainly Chris has had to work his share of Christmas Eves. He's retired now, you know, so we don't have to worry about that so much anymore. But anyway, we had a big time. They didn't leave here till later in the, way late in the afternoon. Uh, I have too many camera shy people who I can't show you the pictures, but I've got, uh, I have a beautiful picture of us lined up from youngest all the way down to my dad, the oldest, up and down the steps. That made a, a, an amazing picture. And I've got a great selfie of all of us, you know, Chris's long arm. He got it out there and, and got all of us in the picture, all 12 of us in the picture. You know, I unfortunately can show you, can share those with you because of my camera shy folks and I respect them, you know, so, but anyway, so that was Christmas Eve. Awesome, awesome, awesome day as it always is. My very favorite day of the year, you guys, I'm telling you. This morning, dad stayed here with us. Both of our kids and Dustin stayed here with us and we just kind of sat around and, you know, we're in a food coma for the rest of the night uh, for a while anyway. And then the two girls and myself got up and we separated all the gifts and had everybody's gifts sitting out by their chairs so that we would be ready to go on, uh, Christmas morning. Dustin and Candace needed to get on out of here by about 11 ish or so, uh, Christmas morning, uh, because they were going to go to his family's house, of course, and, you know, celebrate Christmas at his family's house. So, we tried to respect that, absolutely. We got up pretty early. We started opening gifts at 7 a.m. And we always do, we always do one gift at a time and go around the room. I don't care for, uh, you know, the frenzy of everybody opening up and, and, and nobody seeing what anybody gets. You know, we like to savor the morning, you know, savor Christmas morning. Uh, my dad's prayer, by the way, was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, sounded like my uncle, who's the pastor. I said, my goodness, dad, you should be behind the pulpit there. He goes, oh my goodness. <laughs> but for those of you, go watch that video. You'll hear my dad. One of you guys even said, one of you ladies even said, oh, I'd like to hear your dad singing a quartet. Well, funny you should say that. <laughs> my dad and his three brothers, one of which is in heaven now, uh, sang quartet and they traveled around from church to church when they were little. And uh, most certainly dad sang bass, you know. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us have a little... That was dad's, you know, his was the low. Now let us, you know. It was wonderful, wonderful. So... Funny you should say that. He does have a low, wonderful, he's the sweetest spirit known to man. So anyway, all right. So we started uh, going around the room and let me start showing you what I got. I had asked, <clears throat> pardon me, this was kind of my blue and white Christmas because as you know, I've had blue and white, I started doing blue and white decor last uh, summer, at the end of the summer kind of, and I want that to be my generic everyday decor. And I always want to build on that, except for Christmas. As you saw, Christmas is a full full switch out usually. But even for fall, I incorporated fall into my blue and white. And that's what I want to continue to do moving forward. So uh, first thing I wanted to tell you, I haven't shown these on camera because I wanted to, you know, Chris never wrapped them up. He says, I'm not wrapping you something you already knew you had. So we have, I have ordered blue and white Pipberry garlands, enough to redo the staircase with white lights and blue and white Pipberry garlands. And I'm gonna put my, my navy blue, big funky bows back up. So that's one thing that I got that is gonna be coming out with my new decor whenever I get started on that. So we're gonna redo the staircase in Pipberry, blue and white Pipberries garlands with uh, navy blue funky bows at the swag point. So that's one thing. Uh, <clears throat> but let me, I don't know where to start here. 
Let me start here with Kristen, who uh, she gave me like crazy. She was so busy this year, you guys. Oh my goodness. And she did so many special things that I will tell you about as we get further on in the video here. But she spoiled me rotten, spoiled me rotten with the rest of these gift cards, you guys. Oh my goodness. One to the Christmas tree shops, which is and that. One to Home Goods. Hello. And one to Michael's. And I have a feeling she knew that I was already getting a Hobby Lobby card because everybody talks to everybody, you know. So, oh my gracious, look at all that. Uh, so I will be, and as I said, I will be purchasing and then showing you whatever I get with my Christmas, you know, gift cards moving forward. As I say, I wanna wait until everybody gets their Christmas stuff put away and puts their spring stuff out. I'm hoping more blue and white stuff is gonna come out. So she got me a bunch of gift cards, uh, which, <laughs> is amazing to me. And then I had had a uh, Amazon wish list going. For those of you who have Amazon Prime or Amazon, you know you can kind of write a wish list. And I shared it with the, my girls and with Chris. And boy howdy, they may, uh, really, really, really took that to heart and got me exactly what I wanted, you guys, exactly what I wanted, which was blue and white decor. So I can't, I, I know Candace got me this, so I'm gonna show you this. Candace and Dustin got me this. Look at this beautiful big plate. We've already placed it on a plate holder. holder. I stopped in, whoa, stopped in at Hobby Lobby real quick this morning just simply to pick up boxes and everything's 66% off their Christmas stuff. So I'm sure that'll be, you know, heading head uh, with more, more, uh, percentage off, you know, as we move forward in time. But she gave me this beautiful plate. Look at this plate. It is heavy as lead. And again, I put it in my wish list, you guys. And did I realize how heavy it was? Did I realize how big it was? Heck no. I have no, <laughs> I am the worst person to, to do that. But isn't it beautiful? I was like, what is this? And Candace says, well, mom, you had it in your wish list. And I went, oh yes, I sure did. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I have no earthly idea where it will land. You guys will see moving forward, but isn't that beautiful? It must weigh 10 pounds, easy, easy. So I stopped in Hobby Lobby and got me this easel, and then you can see Chris is holding it together with, he put some tie wraps on the back there, cable ties on the back to keep it from sliding open. So this is just absolutely superb. Oh, come on now. My poncho's stuck, hang on. <laughs> Blooper! Okay, so I got that. And then I believe Kristen again got me uh, a table runner. Look at this in the blue and white. This is 13 by 72 inches. And I got all told between the both girls and Dustin, I got three, four table runners, just like this. Like I said, 72. By 13, I think, 13 or 14. Isn't that pretty? And it matches that plate. Of course, I can't bring the plate back over because it's so stinking heavy, but it matches the plate, plate to a T. So I got four of these and uh, one girl, and or Kristen gave me one or two and Candace and Dustin gave me one or two, you know? So I think they split the money up between them. I don't know how they worked it out, but they, they communicate with one another and I don't know what's going on, you know, half the time. So I got four of these. And then between the two again, I think Kristen, I can't remember which one got me a tablecloth, but I got a navy blue tablecloth. And this is going, this table will be uncovered. But the dining room table, I don't want to uncover. That table is really old and I really want it to be, uh, look a little, a little bit more formal in there, not extremely formal, but regardless, I'm gonna put a, a tablecloth and then one of the table runners will go down the middle of the table, I think, something different. I have, a, you know, the one I had on there before in the fall and stuff, and that's really pretty, but I wanted something different. I wanted everything to kind of flow. And on the tables in there, I'm gonna use these, which is another thing I got, take placemats. And for those of you who saw my haul from the country store, uh, I got pla uh, checked table, uh, checked placemats, 
Those are what I'm gonna use in the family room and I'm gonna use these out in the living room. Okay, so again, they split up the, the, the monies and I got two packages of four of these. And if I ever wanna change the you know checked ones out, I sure can do that, but I got two packs of four. They also can go, you know, uh, I can do a myriad of things with these, you know? So I got eight placemats, which is awesome. So they have got my tables covered, literally, <laughs> for my blue and white decor. So I am super duper duper happy about that. Also, Candace, I believe, you know what, I don't know, one of the kids <laughs> got me, and this came in a set, a set of four, Oh my goodness, like this. Four, they're just uh, canvas bluebirds. Aren't they pretty? And I don't know how I'll put these up. These might set in my big hutch, actually, set up if they fit in there. So I love these. So I got four, four of these. Two might go on top with the plates. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'll do it. Again, you guys will see. You'll come along with these. We're, they're so nice. Blue birds. Blue and white. And y'all know how I love my birds. So I got those. Probably they will go in the living room and dining room, but I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I've got to start wrapping my brain around this new decor, you guys. So then, <laughs> this is something that... I get every year, I get every year. Candace created it this year. I'm not sure if they split the cost of this between Dustin and Candace and Kristen. They may have, I don't know, I don't ask. But I know that Candace is the one that created it. Kristen creates it some years, Candace creates it other years. But, oh, sorry, I got me a calendar. <laughs> Look at the donkey. Oh my goodness, this is one of the donkeys that uh, was in uh, Alaska for one of my cruises that I was petting. <laughs> Took a picture of him, look at that. So this is my calendar, this Buttercup. That was either Buttercup or Ringo. I don't know which one. I think this was Buttercup actually. <laughs> but you know, Candace, what, we, what they do is they take my pictures, some of my pictures from Alaska. They take my pictures, 2020, January, 2020. Do, they do this through Shutterfly and they make me up a, a uh, calendar every year every year and those calendars they go in my cedar chest because i'll write on the calendars when we're traveling what's happening when who's coming to visit when you know that kind of thing so this is somewhat of a journal there's my handsome hubby chris and a lot of my decor is featured in this in this calendar it's february here's my easter or spring nope easter with the bunnies <laughs> March. I also see my weight loss journey kind of through this calendar, which is kind of cool. There's my dad. There we are. And Stace. <laughs> this is April. Come on now. And May is when we did our traveling to Alaska. Here's all my buddies. We're going to be cruising with Barbara. And her hubby, I don't see her hubby in the picture, but Barbara, she's one of my, oh, there he is. My goodness, how can I miss his hat? There he is, Barb and Dawn. We're gonna be cruising with them. This is Scott Singer, y'all know who Scott Singer is. And this is the lovely Cheryl and me. And then Chris and I, of course. And there I am feeding uh, Thelma or Louise, one of them, one of the little llamas there. Chris and I standing in front of a lake there in Alaska. There we are, still in Alaska. Here I am with v, uh, Valentino, Dustin and Candace's dog. Ooh, look at Mr. GQ. One of my favorite pictures of Chris. <laughs> uh, my patriotic decor, July. Stacy again. Y'all just saw this stuff. Doesn't seem like just yesterday, huh? September. October.
Y'all saw this just a little while back. Dad and Chris and myself <laughs> decorating the tree. And then Christmas. She even got some Christmas from this year, Christmas decor. I love it. So it was my decor that was featured. Most of the time it's the dogs. But as you know, we lost sweet Sam. And I'm really kind of glad that she didn't make one up of Sam. Maybe we could do that one year, but I would have, I couldn't have taken it, you guys. I couldn't have taken it. That would have just been too, so sad. That would have been so sad. I just, I just couldn't take it. So I'm glad she chose to do my decor, which is awesome, which is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. Sorry, I can't talk about them still. I still am like struggling a bit. You know, it comes in waves. It comes in waves, you know. I wanted to back up here for a minute. I had this on the bottom of my bag here. I did not have time. I usually make up stockings for my dad, Dustin, Candace, Kristen, and Chris. I usually, or actually Kristen has made up for, and Kristen would make mine up. And I told her, I said, Kristen, I'm just, I'm just swamped. I just am not going to have time to go shopping for everybody's stockings this year. And I just didn't. I'm, I'm, I just, I didn't. I give, I give, I give. And I just don't, I don't normally do that, but with everything that happened, and I just, you know, I was a mess, you guys. So what is the first thing? Here comes Kristen. She, we call her Miss Santa Claus, I'm telling you. Here she comes, first thing. And she said, all right, everybody open this first. Everybody got a box, except for her. Everybody got a box. And this is what we got. <laughs> we each got a little stocking with our initial on it, with gum in it. And then she gave us each, you know, pretty much the same thing, but individualized a little bit. This is a little pill box, you know. Oh, I didn't even look at this. Oh my goodness, it's got wet ones, and it's got like the little scrubbies and little picks and chapstick. Perfect for my trip coming up, you know, perfect. She's something. And then this, ladies, check this out. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know where she got this either. Waterless by Gillette Venus. Look at this. It is a cool little thing. It's got gel in it and you take the top off of it and you squeeze it and you shave your legs or your underarm, you know what I mean? Look at that. That is a cool little, little jobby. Venus, waterless Venus. How cool is that? <laughs> and then Q-tips and tissues. So we each got a little bit of a stocking. And she teaches full time and she still did this. It's, she's amazing, she's amazing. So, I'm so lucky and blessed with my girls, you guys, and Dustin, and Chris, and my dad. I mean, I'm just blessed, you know? So, sorry. I'm trying to get through without crying. I'm trying. So, I think that, no, that doesn't cover all that the girls gave me. One more thing, and then I'll show you what Chris got me. Uh, one more thing, Candace got me some of these. Oh, these are awesome, you guys. These are like your 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 uh, makeup blenders. I love these, love these, love these, love these. So she got me. I'm I was down to one. I had a pack like this a couple years ago, and I was I'm down to one. I take one on each vacation. You know, I go through I th go through them because I use them every day. You know, you can wash them out, but after a while they get kind of yucky. So she got me this. Then. Here she comes. Here comes Candace. Oh my goodness. She had to do, uh, oh, what do they call it? Chris, are you here? He's not here. Career building or partner building or something, you know, at her work. And she went to a class, a little crafting class, and she made me this box. Check it out. Yes, she did. She aged it. She stained it. She, I don't know whether she, she didn't say she put it together. She may have put the box together. But she made me this cool box. Look at that. And stenciled the F on it, which is my last initial. Check it out. Oh my goodness. And you can tell it's homemade. It smells like stain, you know. 
So then she took it upon herself to give me a bunch of stuff to fill up the box with. You know, and my dad, the whole time I was opening this, this was in one big box. This was the box that she had wrapped up, you know. And my dad kept saying, oh, that's right up her alley. Oh, oh, look at that. That's right up her. Oh, she's going to make something pretty in that box. Oh, look, that's right up her alley. So she got me <laughs> lamb's ear, a garland, lamb's ear garland. I have no idea where she got all this stuff, you guys, but... I'll show it all to you. Lamb's ear garland. She got me, I think she might have got these from, I might have had some of these on my wish list on Amazon, actually. I think she got some of these from that. But just some white, three, oh my land. One, two, three, four, five, six tufts. Six tufts of this white, whatever that is. I know somebody will know. Doesn't say on it. But look at that. Six tufts of that. Goodness gracious. Then she got me some kind of blingy looking greenery. It's kind of in the in the vein of a lamb, of lamb's ear. And then she said these were kind of funky, mom. So she said I think I thought they were pretty though. Look at these. She got me two a whole bundle, a whole bundle of these. And they're like curly cues almost. Look at them. Aren't they pretty? So I said, I'll do something with those. I, that's right up our alley. <laughs> My dad. <laughs> and, and more to come. Got me some, oh, here's some more of the, the kind of that greenery. And then these, look at these. These are like bluebells, I think. Look at these. Aren't they pretty, blue and white? Wow. I love those. Somebody will know what they are. I really don't know what they are. I'm terrible with flowers, I told y'all that. Got those, and then uh, a couple of tufts of kind of, these are kind of like succulents feeling, you know? Boy, I'm gonna make me some kind of arrangement, huh, out of this. And then she got me these beautiful hydrangeas. Look at these, oh, are these not beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous, like a bouquet. Gorgeous, wow, love those. And then, blueberries. <laughs> I love them. Oh my goodness. So now you can imagine, I'm gonna make something pretty spiffy out of this box. <laughs> Whoa. So we'll get to that. That'll be a project coming up, you know? Yay. And I, th I don't know where I'm going to put it. I thought, oh, sorry about the light. I thought that I would like it on my uh, credenza, but I like what I have on my credenza. I may make it for here on my ivy table. That might be pretty for on my ivy table or on one of the shelves on my hutch back there. So I don't know, but isn't that pretty? I love it. So, wow. So I'm going to put that all together, and I'm going to try to use elements of what she gave me in that. I, I am going to really try to do that. So that that finished off, I think, the kids. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So on to Chris. And every year I ask for Clinique because and this is when I get my Clinique kind of uh, – What I don't buy on the ships. This is when, you know, we I kind of get restocked with my Clinique. And it's, it, it's just a bunch of, you know, I don't need to go through every single thing. I don't think. I got a bunch of little gifts, too. And I had helped him order this, if I'm honest. I had helped him order this because, you know, I like to get what I like to get. And he doesn't know that stuff, you know. So, I'm, I'm just grateful that he gets it. And these are some of the, these are some of the uh, gifts that it came, that came with it. Look at this pretty... Mm. It's like lip gloss that you can just highlight and add to any lipstick color. Isn't that pretty? So I got that, and then I got some, I need my glasses. I'm not going to be able to tell you a thing. But uh, I got me <clears throat> some of my lipstick. This is my Raspberry Pop lipstick. 
And this is what I wear all the time. Well, I just put that lip gloss on top of it, but trust me, this is what I have on. This is what I wear all the time. And I was, if you saw my video, my Vlogmas, I was about, I'm about out. So he got me two of those because I use that more than anything else. I also have a red that I really, sorry, that I really like. Uh, and then he got me some foundation. And... This is the kind of eye liner I use. This is slate, and this rolls up, you know? I don't wanna roll it up, but it rolls up. And it also has a smudger at the other end. So that's my eyeliner. Got two of those, and then I got concealer, under eye concealer. So I got that. And again, you can find all this on, uh, you know, on Clinique, and you can choose your own colors. I got my happy as that was a gift. They give you tons of free gifts, tons and tons of free gifts, you know. And then he did replenish my my happy because goodness knows I'm about out of my happy perfume. What I got in this was happy perfume, 1.7 fluid ounces of Clinique Happy Perfume, Clinique Happy Butter Body Cream, 2.5 fluid ounces, and Happy Perfume Spray which is what I take on my trips and stuff, you know? This is such a pretty box. And then that's what it looks like. So that will last me about a year. A year or sometimes more, sometimes more. It depends on how much I travel and take the smaller. But I wear Happy almost every single day. I do have Ennis, I wear that sometimes. And actually Scott Singer, when he was on the uh, his last cruise, he said, Arlen, he said, I've found your, I've been trying to buy an Alaska Mist perfume that you can get on Princess Ships. And I love it, but it was always too expensive. He said, Arlen, he said, it's on deep sale. I got a good discount. He said, you want this? And bless his heart, he picked it up and I sent him a check and he sent it to me. Sent it across the country to me. So I do wear that sometimes now too. Alaska Mist, I think it's called. I'll show you that in an upcoming video. But, so, thank you, Scott. While I'm looking at you here, if you're watching. <laughs> I got some mascara for a for again a gift. I got like six little little travel size gifts, you know. And this is always what I take on my travels or all these little gifts I get, you know. Back to the blue and white for a second. I had asked for a couple of lamps. Look, this again matches the plate. Aren't these pretty? And these are gonna go in the living room. I'm not lamps. Don't have a light bulb in it right now, but. They're super pretty, and won't they be pretty with my blue and white decor? And since I'm going, it's going to be my, you know, my major decor, my generic, my everyday decor. I thought, why don't I get a couple new lamps? So I got two. The other one's sitting over on the table there. You probably have been seeing it. Then he got me. I opened this. I'm like, this is a heavy little gift. What is this? He got me a new pair of snippers. Not that my old snippers have worn out because they have not. They still work just as great as they used to. These are Dykes wire cutters. You guys, these are the best wire. These are always, a, a link for these is always in the description of my every video I put up. These are my go-to wire cutters no matter what. I love them. They cut through everything so easy. Uh, for those of you who have arthritis, I highly recommend these. I've been getting a little soreness in my hands as of late, speaking of arthritis. Uh, I, you know, I stirred all that fudge and man, I've been having a pain in my thumb, especially lately. So got me a new pair of snippers just so we have an extra pair because he walks away with them too. I walk away, put them down. Where are the snippers? I don't know. Where'd you do with them? I don't know. What'd you do with them? Hopefully one pair will always be in my little, you know, my little caddy down there. <laughs> Yay. I asked for those. So wanted a second pair. Uh, then I asked for, didn't think I'd get both, but I did ask for both. Sorry. I asked for a couple of Brighton purses. Uh, one to take on excursions on my trips. That would be a little waterproof. So look at this pretty little purse. These are crossbody purses. Both of these that I'm fixing to show you. This is Brighton. I don't know if he paid the Brighton price for them or where he got them, but I got two Brighton purses and they're both crossbodies. And look at this, it has a has a pocket in the back, 
has one zip on the top with pockets inside. I haven't looked real close at them, to tell you the truth, with pockets inside. And then like one big pocket, maybe. Yeah, no, oh, it's a zipper. Duh. Zipper in the back, there we go. And it's got a pretty, uh, you know, a little clasp to put your keys on. And I thought I saw, oh yeah. It has the charm. It has the Brighton Heart charm on it. And then in the front, it has a, just a little pocket there with a, is it a, yes, it's a magnet with a magnet. And then a zipper here. And then another zipper here. This may be RFID safe too. I can't remember if it is or not. But I thought this was super pretty, super pretty. I put a little wallet down in this. I thought it was super pretty. So this is what I'll be taking. It's, and like I said, it's an adjustable crossbody bag, has an adjustable strap, comfortable bag, sweet little bag. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's different too, it's different. And then you have, you know, and of course the Brighton, you know, logo on the front. So pretty, so you got me that. And then he got me this little one that I plan on taking in my carry-on onto the plane. And this just very simply is enough for my phone. It fits in there perfect. And some credit cards. My global entry card, my passport fits in here. Uh, not in the passport case that Stace got me, but my just my passport by itself will fit in here. And I'll try to take the passport uh, case with me as well, but I'll also take this. So I love this. I love this. Again, a crossbody, and it is adjustable. So perfect. It has a little case or a little uh, sleeve in the back too. Perfect little size. Just a perfect little size. I love it. So you got me those. And with the purse, one of the purses, they send you <laughs> a tote bag. Check it out. This is a free gift with the purchase. <laughs> love you or love, yeah, love you or love, no, love joy. That's what it says on it. <laughs> really nice. Uh, look at this. I didn't even see this. Some, where's my glasses? Sometimes you got to get off that shelf and be your own bad self, Lulu the Elf. <laughs> Check it out. Isn't that cute? It's on their zip, little inside zipper. That's so cute. Cute little tote bag. I love it. Look, did you see this on the inside of this tote? <laughs> it says, sometimes you got to get off that shelf and be your own bad self, Lulu the Elf, Brighton. Isn't that cute? So that came with one of the purses. I don't know which one, but Chris wrapped it up with one of them. And then he got me, oh, and then I got, they also send you Altoids in a little case as a gift. Isn't that cute? Little Altoid hearts. And you get that as a gift. And of course the light is anyway, they're little blue and white hearts. Look. That I don't want to put in my mouth right now because Altoids make my eyes water. So, then he got me this. Pretty little Y Brighton necklace. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oops, I have it backwards. There we go. It's got a little stone there and the little round piece and then the two hearts. And then he got me earrings to match. I love me some Brighton, y'all. Brighton's my favorite, favorite thing. So that, my friends, that's what Chris got me. Oh, and then if you haven't noticed, and I don't know whether I've used it for this video because this is the first video that I will be uh, creating with my new Final Cut Pro. Yay! Chris got me Final Cut Pro for Christmas, you guys. Uh, and he got me a little card, and in it it says, every year I love you more. Love, Chris. Redeem at 
at our address, almost said it, <laughs> our address for one Final Cut Pro, non-transferable. <laughs> so cute, cute, cute. So I'm using Final Cut Pro hopefully to do my editing. Hopefully, if I figured out how to use it. <laughs> we loaded it on my machine this morning. So hope oh, my computer this morning. So that was my Christmas. But I got one more gift and I want to show this to you and tell you that Candace and Dustin gave this to me and it is called Grandmother. <laughs> and Chris and I are gonna be grandparents Estimated June to 20. Candace told us, or can't, actually Thanksgiving night when we were putting, I've had to keep this a secret for a month, you guys. I've had to keep it a secret. I was sworn to secrecy. You don't know how many times I've almost slipped. I've almost said something. Miss Chatty Kathy here. Oh my goodness. It has been so hard. But we feel so blessed, so honored, so happy that we are going to have a little grandson. Yes, it's a grandson in June. And his name, she even has his name, they even have his name picked out, is gonna be Maverick James. So Mr. Maverick James is going to grace us with his presence in June. I cannot tell you how happy this makes me. I cannot tell you, Chris and I, are over the moon, over the moon with excitement. And we've been, you know, so a lot of Candace's Christmas and Dustin's Christmas entailed a lot of, you know, like baby onesies and baby things. And Kristen found the neatest books. She got him, uh, got them each a book, one that she read and recorded her voice on. Uh, it wasn't a long book, but it was like a recordable book. And then one she bought for us and Chris and I stood here before my dad arrived on the Monday before Christmas and we recorded both of us reading that book. So cool, so cool. So Little Maverick will always be able to hear our voices when, you know, all they have to do is open the book up and turn the pages and they'll hear us reading. I mean, that's just one thing. I got him a little bunny with a Maverick in his little ear from a little Etsy shop. Just all kinds of little things. You know, we're so excited, so excited. Candace has been, she's had her ups and downs. She was still sick there for a while and she's, she's feeling better now. She's feeling better now. But boy, she was struggling there for a while. So I've had a lot, you know, we've all had a lot going on around here. You know, and the emotions have been running the gambit. You know what I mean? You know, with, with the happiness and, and sheer joy that you have with a new grandbaby coming. You know, it is so special. And then with our loss of Sam, and that took us all the way down. You know what I mean? It's just been, it's been a crazy, 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 crazy month here. But we have so much to look forward to. And a lot of you have said, oh, Arlen, your life's getting ready to change. You know, and but Chris and I are going to embrace, trust me, being grandma and grandpa. Uh, and we want to be in his life and enhance his life and help him, you know, live a wonderful life full of love. That little boy is going to know he's loved. He's going to know it from the very moment. If he doesn't already know it, you know, what a blessing. What a blessing. So that topped off my Christmas right there. <laughs> I can't wait till that's me. <laughs> oh. So anyway, that is what I got for Christmas, you guys. Oh my goodness, I got a lot. I got a ton of wonderful things and my family as always uh, was very, very good to me and got me just what I wanted and needed and didn't even know was coming, you know. Well, I did know Maverick was coming at Christmas, but this was, forget it. You know, of course I went to a blithering, you know, puddle with tears, of course, <laughs> as I always do. So, 
But anyway, that's it. I hope that all of you had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and that you got everything that you, your heart desired. And, you know, even if that was just a hug or a good thought or a prayer or, you know, something like that, it does, it's not about material things all the time, you know, although I, I, I really like what I got, you know, uh, but it was all practical things, things that I use, things I will use in the future. And I am so grateful because now I won't have to go out and buy these lamps or this plate or the placemats and that kind of thing. It's awesome. Awesome. So anyway, all right, that's it for this one. I think I don't know what's coming up next. You guys, I don't know when I'm going to start deconstructing this house. I've already taken the, actually Chris did this this morning. He took the, put the table back where it belongs and we folded up the tablecloths and, or he did actually. And I broke down uh, all the, took the candles out of the, you know, candle holders and did all that. And we boxed all the stuff I got bought out for Christmas Eve and we boxed all that stuff back up. So that's been put away. And, uh, you know, so I'll start picking at this house a little bit at a time as we work through the next week, you know, toward, to, toward the new year. And then I will probably be bringing you two to three videos a week. Probably they will be Tuesdays, Thursdays, and... Uh, Saturday or Sunday, probably, probably two to three. Definitely Tuesday, Thursday, and I'm not sure about the weekends. So we'll just have to play it by year. I am going to back down a little bit on the amount of, of uh, videos that I make. I'm, I'm a little bit tuckered out, and I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. So, but anyway, all right, that's it. So let me go into some final words. Thank you all so much for stopping in here, and I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.